Hey everybody. Um, you like my hat? Yeah. Dude. We have a Santa shop at school. I look like really weird. Thanks, Maggie. Cause that's what every girl wants to hear. So yeah, I have a video for you guys today. Talking about my hat, it's sock monkey. I thought it was cute and festive. Cause it's the holidays. I want to tell you about my nail polish, which I actually don't have the tube up here right now, but you'll see another review on that nail polish soon. Um, it's festive, it's green. Yeah. Green. So I have like no makeup on at all. None. And I have my glasses on, so yay! And I'm gonna wear my hat because it keeps my head warm, because my hair is wet. And it's very, very comfortable. Okay. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to be talking about um what I'm bringing on vacation. Or no, it's not really vacation. It's like I'm going to my cousin's house tomorrow at like five o'clock because I have to clean. Um. For Christmas, and so I'm gonna be there for five days. So it's technically a good vacation, but don't really call it a vacation anyway. So my friend, what my friend made me for Christmas, it's a duct tape flower with a purple lid, but it writes in black, so I can still use it at school. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, love ya. So, all right, this is what I'm carrying my stuff in. It's like literally stuffed to the max, probably ridiculously stuffed to the max because I probably don't need any of this. But, you know what? I don't care. So, this bag is from Lancome. It's got power. Oh, this is one of their summer collections, I think. Alright, so, one thing I have in here that's also part of my um, skincare routine is a moisturizer, which is from Neutrogena. And this is the Ageless Essentials Continuous Hydration SPF 25. Um, this is supposed to be like for, it's just an SPF 25 face moisturizer, so it's really great for the summer. But honestly, as long as there's some a sun in the sky, you can still get skin damage. So it's always good to use a moisturizer. And I use this under my makeup because it's of a consistency that it works kind of as a primer. And it kind of works as a foundation by itself by just kind of making my skin feel soft and look nicer. I don't know. It's not tinted or anything because it's white. It's just, I just, oh, it's all coming out now. Gotta put it on my face. But I, I just really like it. I put it on every morning. It's just a nice base to start this day with your skin like this very healthy it's very hydrating too so this is probably I got it on my glasses wow this is probably one of my favorite beauty items um well, I really really love this so, number one that was number one definitely recommend you go get this because it works as a foundation except for something to do and I don't really wear powder every day like I don't have it on right now because I obviously don't really need it but anyway yeah. alright so let's start with my powder it's from Merle Norman Merle Norman you can't see it there's a big blob right there it's like mascara or something yeah I need to put an overcoat because it's really dull I don't know this green. I wanted a festive color. It's only two dollars at CVS. Anyway, talk about that in another video. Um, this is the. It's actually an ultra powder foundation, which is different than normal powder, but because it's more covering. And this is actually the powder. You can't really see it. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to hit pan on that, so I probably should get something a lot cheaper because this is around twenty dollars, and I'm not gonna go out and buy another $20 powder for myself because I'm 14 and I don't really need it. So, this is a sponge right here. But anyway, so definitely love this powder. If you are an adult and you want to buy an expensive powder, buy that or foundation, I guess. 
Alright, so the next thing is I bring I put this in like every video because I love it so much. It's the same one too. It's one of the elf's all over face color sticks in golden peach. And it's kind of annoying though because of the packaging. But really what I do is I just go like that on my cheeks and blend it in with my fingers and it gives you this really pretty healthy shimmery glow. And I have to like screw it in now. It's kind of ridiculous. But yeah, definitely recommend getting this. I think it's only a dollar and you put it on your lips, your cheeks, or your eyes. I've got my eyes and my cheeks, never my lips, so it's not really a good lip color for me. But I love this. Definitely recommend it to anybody. The last face thing I have is a blush. Which, this looks really pretty over it. It's from Lancome. And it's in the shade Rose Romantic. <clears throat> it's just a really pretty pink. Looks really pretty on. And this looks gorgeous over it. So, love, 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 love this blush. It's like my favorite blush. It's like my only blush. Alright, let's do brushes now. So, we'll start with face brushes. I have a blush brush, which is this from Claire's, and it's just really soft. I actually conditioned it, which is why it's so soft, probably, but, um, it's just a, got a nice, pretty pink that goes down into a lighter pink. And just really pretty to apply brush blush with. And I, like, you could use it for contour too, it's a little big for that, but, you know, this is a nice blush brush, so very inexpensive. Okay, then I have a gigantic powder brush, which I'm using all of my inexpensive brushes for this, because I don't want to take my expensive brushes somewhere, like, you know, like that. I'd take them on, like, an actual vacation, like when I went on a cruise, but I'm not going to take them when I go to my family for Christmas. So, you know. So this is just a powder brush, um, just easy to maneuver around your face and all that stuff, so, love it. This is from Swirl Cosmetics, by the way. Okay, um, then we've got eye brushes. So, I've got my eyebrow brush. I cannot live without one. Also from Claire's. I've got my, um, this brush, which is just like a, um, sponge applicator. I use this to blend eyeliner on my waterline. So, yeah. Um, I got me, sorry, I hate talking like that. I don't know why I am. Three more brushes. This blush, this one's from Swirl Cosmetics. Um, I'll show you what it does. You can apply that into your crease by like that. You can also pack on color and you can also pretty much get any small details with this brush. It's an amazing brush. It's very cheap too. Um, this next brush is a small, flat, super flat, skinny brush. And it's probably not of the best quality. But the reason I like it is because I can use it in my cream eyeshadows and not worry about ruining the brush quality because it's got kind of a um, really cheap, like synthetic, not synthetic, it's a nice brush, but this is from Claire's. Um, it's got that feel to it where I don't really care about it. So yeah, it's kind of splitting, which I hate it when my brushes do that. But that's what you brushes ha that's what happens to brushes when you use creams and liquid things with them. So that's just normal to for the brush to be like that, but I use this for cream eyeshadows, which obviously that's hints that I'm bringing some. This next one is a bit bigger version of that one, which you can compare. And this one I don't use cream for. I use this sometimes to um, kind of match my under eye circles with like a powder of some sort. Um, I use that for that, and then I also use it to pack on color. Or, like, you know, just kind of add detail. It really, it's a good brush. It's very stiff, so you can really move things, like, move it into the place you want it to go. So. I like this brush from Claire's. Alright, so, let's start with eyeshadows. I'm going to go fast through this. 
for already at 10 minutes. Um, Sweetest Candy from Wet n Wild. Um, really love this palette. Perfect for every day. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to say like what it's called, where it's from, and then I'm going to say what it's for. So, this one's from I Got, this one's I Got Good Jeans from Wet n Wild. Um, I got the, I, I'm bringing this one because it's got silver and gold in it, and I thought that was Christmassy, so I'm bringing it because I might do a Christmassy pretty lip with it. I don't know. You never know. Then I have my Everyday Palette from Profusion. This is just like your neutral, pretty much, colors. It's got some purples, but it's a purple. Yeah, it's purple. Um, this is just like a palette I use every day. I mean, I really use this color right here, mostly, but, you know. Then I have this one from Wet n Wild, which is called Vanity. And really, I mean, you can tell what I would use with these colors. They're all super duper wearable. This color right here, I use for under eye to set the, um, a liquid concealer with it. Then, um, this one is my Revlon Cream Eyeshadows, which I need a new one my because shadows. this one's out. Um, this one's like practically out. So those are my two favorite colors, and actually you can see they're out. My shadows! Shut up. You can also use this like foundation or concealer. I don't know. I don't want to. Alright, so that's all my eyeshadows. Um, next, lip glosses. So I have one lip lish, er, uh, well this is like one of my lip lishes that I'm bringing along with me. This is uh, Raspberry Cream. I just like this one because it's really um, just a shimmery pink. And what's better than shimmery pink? I mean nothing. I mean it's perfect for everyday use. So that's for, you can get this at Bath and Body Works. Remember, Raspberry Cream, Raspberry Cream. And this next one is also from Liplicious, and I'm bringing this one along because it's a very bright cherry red. It's not like a dark red, a sophisticated red. It's like a fun, like, you know, just fun party red, and it's in Fruit Punch. Um, then I have the last lip gloss I'm bringing along. Well, actually, I think I'm bringing my Sephora, um, uh, Bronze Beauty, I think that's what it's called, um, lip gloss that I own. Um, it's in my, one of my clutches downstairs, which I used, um, or downstairs, like, I'm in my room right now. La, la, la. Um, um, it's like a really pretty, sophisticated red, so that's why I'm bringing that along. But then this one is for a Lancome Juicy Tube in Crazy Raspberry, and this is one of the Yay I Kusuma, Ka, K, Kusama, I don't really know, that's just like the, who made, designed the cover, I'm guessing, because that's what it says right there. This is a juice tube and crazy raspberry. I love, love, love this color. Then I have a lip stain. It's the Maybelline Shine Sensation or Color Sensation, not Shine Sensation. Um, and in the buff, and this is just. You'd think it darkened, but it really doesn't. It's not even real. Oh my gosh, every time you make it. It's the first. You just made one. I uploaded it. Oh, well, maybe didn't Alright, then this is. Um, a concealer. This one's a little darker. It's the um, two-in-one concealer from Rimmel. Which um, it's a concealer and highlighter. Um, sorry. Um, so it's kind of too dark for me, but that's why I bring a setting powder. You know, it's just fine. Um, well, it's not too dark for me in the summer, but it is in the winter. So I have a Toki Doki eyeliner. Um, it's just a sparkly. Got this at Sephora. Then this mascara, which is like this little wrecking ball one. And then my voluminous, which everybody knows what that one looks like. Then I brought. I'm bringing two lipsticks. The first one's from Wet n Wild, which I had to pick through like my, my five Wet n Wild lipsticks. Huh? And I chose this one because, I mean, it's just the prettiest in my opinion. It's kind of a mauve. It's in the shade 502A. Well, they're all super pretty, but I just wanted this one because it's kind of a more sophisticated look, I guess. So, these are one of the 99 set ones. Definitely recommend those. I mean, I, I love them because, I mean, they're good quality. I don't know what the cents, so pretty colors. You don't have a gigantic selection of colors, but, you know, you live when they're 99 cents. Um, that's like every one, except for the red one. Alright, then this next one is a lipstick from Lancome, as you can tell by the flowery thing on the top. It's in the shade, it's one of their Color Fever Shines, 
and simmering. This is kind of an old packaging. It's not an old looks like though. So it's just a dark, deep red. Now you're probably wondering, that will not look good on you, but like it doesn't look bad, I guess. I wouldn't use it like, yeah, I use it like this. Here, I'll show you. It's kind of dark, but I just go like, hold on, let me get this so I can show you better. Now a little bit of this goes a really long way. So this is one of those lipsticks that will probably last me like 10 years. Not that I'll have the same lipstick in 10 years, so that'd be weird. But, I mean, it doesn't look good with my look now, because I don't have a look right now. But, I mean, it'll look fine when I'm wearing a dress and stuff like that on Christmas Eve. So, the last thing I'm carrying in here is um, a lip balm and it's my SPF 20 soft lips raspberry lip balm I love this I was looking for my EOS I couldn't find my EOS so I just kind of grabbed that so I have the next best so yeah that's everything bye